Fires from Craig Peacock to set him up. That's why it's 2 2. Chance there from Goodwald. Pushes Pompey over. Kyle Essery not happy with that. He gets himself involved. A couple of third players involved now. Goodwald. Peacock Goodwald involved in a scrap at the far side there. Can't really see who the NK player is, but there are punches running in from Mikael Goodwald. And it comes to an end, both players land on the ice. Well, it was Goodwald's challenge on Quinn Pompey. Said the race, David Clark, Peterborough, born lad. And he goes in and he clashes with Robinson and Stephenson, oh. unhappy with that. So here we go. They have a fight. <laughs> fight is broken out after that incident when the Panthers player skated into the goalie. It's Kevin Bergen and it'll be Stephenson over the yeah. line. Uh, Bergen's taking the, the worst of that one, I think. He yeah. took some shots to the head there. Step in. Stephenson and Bergen skate back. Stephenson really didn't have an option there because Michel Robinson took an almighty it's, lap. It's kicking off again down at the Kellen corner, I think. <laughs> Close the range in a way. Cody! looking for a quick reaction. Now oh, there's one or two bodies colliding. Justin Farina and Cody Cowick going at it near the clan bench. Both players up against the boards here. The photographer's getting a real show. Justin Farina and Corey Cowick. Cowick ends up down on the ice, and that calls a halt to that one. And that's got the fans up on the feet. Nobody there as the Blaze tied up their men's sticks. Oh, it's a huge, ugly looking hit comes in from uh, Morris, and there'll be a fight. Dotty and Morris, Dotty with some big right hands. Pulls off the helmet of the captain, lands a bomb of his own. And he's really hammering into Morris here, who tries to throw one of his own, and uh, that fight was all Jacob Dotty. Morris answered the bell. I think he wish he hadn't. That was a beating from Dotty. Good yeah. fight, good win for him. Dotty in there straight away on Morris and really just uh, demonstrated why he's known as one of the toughest guys in the Elite Oof. League right there. That was a uh, one sided. by McFadden. That shot is off target, Phillips is trying to reach it first. Oh, and he's hit really nastily into the boards by Griffin. And Lawrence is across because that wasn't a good hit. The officials have seen it. And Lawrence and Griffin will go at it at center ice. And Griffin is going to be on the wrong end of this one because he put Jonathan Phillips on the wrong end of a really nasty hit against the boards. If we've got a good look at that hit on the replay or the fight, we'll certainly bring it to you. And the crowd are cheering because it looks as though James Griffin is being kicked out of this game. You need to keep your eye on 20 in orange, Jonathan Phillips, as he goes towards the boards. It's 15 in white and blue who comes in. And that is contact to the head. There is no question that the first point of contact is the head of Jonathan Phillips. Last play by Stevie Lee there, he keeps that one in the zone, but now they get a chance to come out. Huge hit by Risling, and yeah, and now it's uh, Lewis's second go round this time with Risling. Risling, Lewis and Risling, center ice. Lewis throwing Risling in a bit of control here. Still throwing uppercuts from Risling, more uppercuts. This one's over again, again, fair play to Lewis for st sticking up for his teammate again. Big hit thrown on Lindsmeyer, and there's going to be a call on that play. It's Hache. Springer is up to Hache, and Hache and Springer are going to go here as they both drop the gloves. Eyeing each other up. Linden Springer, Hache. Hache on the far side. Springer gets the first one over the top. Second one over the top. Hache responds. Hache with another. 
Springer throwing those bombs are getting takes his man down to the ice. Oh, saved by Clemente on the near side post there. Oh, and here, they, here we go. Looks like, looks like the gloves are off. Oh, we've got two fights going here. Wallace and uh, Matt Stannis is going at it. They're just going right at it. Like two guys stand. Two guys having a good tussle there. Good. That looks as if it goes to Stannis. I think he's trying to get his team wild up here and get them going. Oh, we've got a little bit more going out here in front of the net there. I think it's just chatter. Uh, just watching it on the replay there. Two guys throwing big bombs at one another. And Stans just throws that left hand there and puts him on his bomb. Yeah, 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 Matt Stanish, tough kid, loves seeing what he's doing here. Getting in there to defend his teammates. Bit of a dirty hit by Wallace. Stanish uh, doesn't like that. He goes in there, drops gloves with him and comes out on top with that fight. He's got a strong left hand. And, uh, and uh, I think Wallace followed off his cheekbone a few times there. Well, Stadel in the opposite direction, into the centre for Cowney, and he's forced wide with that shot. Oh, Stadel with a huge booming in on Ferrara there. Oh, and it's a fight, Stadel and Clemens are going to go. Clemens gets a hold of Stadel straight away. Stadel with a shot on target with the left. And it's a hold on tight for Clemens and Stadel here. Stadel again over the top with the left, and in with the rights as well. Stadel's helmet's off. Shots connecting for both. Clements put Stadel down with that one. And whilst all that is going on, it's medical attention for Ferrara. But a huge check from Stadel there. I didn't see anything wrong with that one. Well, David Clements certainly did. <laughs> and uh, this place is woken up now, hasn't it? It certainly has. Well, Stadel again in the news, the headlines against the Coventry Blades. Have a look at this one here. Stadel chasing this one down. Yeah, maybe actually. Maybe blindsided there. Always easier in the replay, isn't it? And Ferrara, there's a doctor again on the spot. So here we go, we scrap. And Dundee Stars live, Clements and Stado. Decent tug, to be fair. Stado gets the first blows in. And I think Clements did slightly better there. There we go. Stado on shot with shots there. And across comes the right hooks. Gets that shot in, that's covered over. A little bit of pushing and shoving. Oh. Referee's arm goes up, he sees something there, here we go. It's all getting a little bit tasty here in the Milne Keynes Arena. Quite funny watching uh, Guy Lettery pushing uh, Robert Farmer around. That really is a bit of a, a size no contest. And here we go. There's Stephen Lee. And I think that's Tommy Mele. Can't quite see the number, so. I was swinging now. A little bit of judo going on as well. That's left to right from the bench point of view. That makes any sense. So they involved there, that was a chance, a deflection takes it wide. Another one, Schofield is impeded, Tyler Shattuck helping out. We're going to see another fight, it's Shattuck against Bouzier on that corner over on the far side in front of section A. And Bouzier takes a tumble, a bit of a slip there you have to say, but the clan man just edges it, he reined in a good few punches. And the second fight of the night, Tyler Shattuck goes off to a standing ovation from the home crowd. But I, what I cannot give him is a non-call on John Cullen being hooked down on a 5-on-3. 
Well, as Pilak goes over to Romanak to all will jump in on him as Romanak rocked Martin in the corner. As uh, Becker ties a few guys up, Martin circles around. But Romanak with a big hit on Martin. He's still on the ice. Well, we've had plenty of physical stuff here this evening. It's been a hard-fought challenge. And Bielek goes back to try to have a go at, at Romanuk. Well, it's all kicking off, Eddie. I didn't see the first hit on, uh, on Martin. Did you, you get a view on that first hit? I don't care if it's dirty or not. Russ Romack did his job. That's what exactly, if we have any chance, we need to get them down to 3D, knock out one of their best players, and get them off their game. That, uh, that well, was a great Alex play. Smiles and he goes the ice. So Romanek goes to the box. He's got a cut over his left eye. So Nigel. So it's times like this. I'll tell you, Martin's still on the ice. He's injured. Hopefully he's okay as he makes his way to his feet. Looks like he's getting assisted off. Not sure where the injury came with him, but obviously Romanuk hit him in the corner, but unfortunately didn't get a view of that, which kicked it off, which got Vilak, which got Vilak upset as it's all rolling here. Three minutes and 40 to go. So Vilak's made his way to the... Vilak has made his way across and down into the dressing room. Martin will make his way off as he goes off injured. 